In this video, I'll show you how to set Contribase payment method in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and I'm currently on a checkout here. And here you can see we've got four different um, payment options, right? Okay, so what we'll do in this video is we'll restrict the PayPal payment method to um, UK customers and we'll allow um, US customers to be able to access um, the PayPal payment methods, okay? So this is just how I'm gonna structure this particular um, payment conditional rule. Okay, and to achieve this, we'll be using the WeSuite conditional shipping and payments plugins. So just head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and download the conditional shipping and payments plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. So once we've done so, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite conditional shipping and payments plugin, the next step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key. Once you've done so, it'll automatically redirect you to this um, add-on section, okay? And then from here, we can just scroll down to where it says shipping and payments, and we can just toggle this to on. Okay, give it a few seconds and then we should see this manage option here. If we don't see the manage option, we can refresh this page and then we'll see it here and we'll also see the shipping and payments um, menu item on the Wii Suite here. Okay, so we're just going to navigate over to where it says payment gateways and we'll create our first rule, okay? So we'll click add restriction, okay, and then we'll just give it a name, it's just for internal purposes. Okay, so I'll just name mine Disable um, PayPal to UK customers. So how this works is you'll basically add all your payment gateways on your um, WooCommerce store. And then you'll basically just add various different conditional rules on restricting a certain payment method to certain countries. Okay, so here we'll select the payment method that we want to exclude. So in this case, we'll select PayPal here. Okay, and then we'll create a condition. Okay, so we'll say the customer billing country. Okay, so it's up to you. So you can either choose the billing or shipping country it might make sense to choose the shipping country right for the condition we'll select a shipping country here and then we'll say the shipping country is and then we'll just say United Kingdom okay and then this way it will conditionally hide um, the PayPal option to um, our UK customers okay so we'll save this rule and we'll test it then we'll come back here and I'll explain a few other bits as well okay so we'll just hit save changes Okay, and when we navigate back over to our checkout page, we can see our shipping details is within the UK. So we'll go ahead and refresh this page and we should no longer be able to see the PayPal option. Okay, so it's working as it should. Okay, so now let's do another example. Okay, so let's say um, for our invoice payment, we only wanted um, our US customers to be able to have access to this particular feature. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a new rule. So only our US customers has got access to this invoice payment option, okay? So again, we'll navigate back over to our dashboard here and then we'll just click add restriction. So now we're creating a new rule and then this time we will say, okay? And so that's our description. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and select the payment method that we wanna exclude, okay? So now I'm gonna select invoice. Okay, and then for condition, I'm going to go ahead and say, so I'm going to select shipping country for the condition, or we can select a billing country as well. Again, it's up to you. So I'm going to say shipping country. And then this time I'm going to say is not, okay, the United States. Okay, so this means that all other countries besides the United States um, will be this invoice payment method will be excluded okay but when we select um, the United States we should still be able to see um, this invoice option so we'll save changes and then we'll go ahead and test this rule again okay so now let's add in our new address first let's refresh this page okay and let's add in our new address and here we can see all payment methods. So we can see we can see our direct bank transfer, our invoice, cash and delivery, and our PayPal payment method. Okay. So just to round this off, let's do another test. Let's try a let's try the UK again. So okay, so this time when we try the UK, the invoice payment option should be unavailable, and also the PayPal payment option should be unavailable. Okay. Okay, so now we've switched to the UK and this time we can only see two payment options, right? So we can only see um, direct bank transfer and cash and delivery. So we can no longer see our PayPal payment option or the invoice um, payment option as well. Okay, so this condition 
is super useful when you just want to enable the payment option to a specific country. So theoretically, if you wanted, let's say you only wanted um, PayPal to display within the UK. So in this case, we'll just change the criteria here to is and then we'll say is not. OK, so essentially only the UK will be able to see this particular payment option. OK, so if you was wondering as well how we created this checkout design, it's currently powered by the WeSuite all in one checkout plugin. Um, there's a free and a pro version, so you can just head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and navigate to all in one checkout and you can download it and test it out for yourself. You can customize the checkout fields. You can add a multi-step checkout. Um, there's advanced analytics, um, side cart and so much more. Okay. I'll leave a link in the description below to a useful tutorial on how to use the all in one at checkout plugin. And that's the set country based payment in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.